brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. It was in 2002 that Guam was hit by Super Typhoon Pong Song Wa, the damage causing fuel tankers to set ablaze, paralyzing the island's fuel for months. Now, after more than a decade, the offices of Guam Homeland and Civil Defense will be offering maritime emergency response trainings to local personnel. GHS spokesperson Jenna Bloss. For port personnel, for maritime personnel, um, including firefighters. And this is important for um, training for fire incidents or hazmat incidents that could occur anytime on the maritime or the port locations. This is the first time GHS will be offering these maritime specific courses. Although the Port Authority of Guam does conduct its own quarterly trainings on sea burning. And GHS believes that it is important to ensure the safety and security of Guam's seaports. The ports play such a crucial role in emergency management. Um, we get all of our commodities either through uh, air or sea. So um, putting the seaports or any of our maritime um, infrastructures out of order um, would make a, a really terrible catast catastrophic event here on island. Trainings will be offered through May 7th to the 11th. The eight-hour courses are open to all maritime response personnel from the local and federal governments, military, and private organizations. For more information, you can visit their website at ghs.guam.gov. Although they're few and far between, it's important that we train for these incidents, making sure that we're prepared for them. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Kiani Mediola. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.